What's up, everybody? Yo, I was saying, it's always good for a person to, is you got to like who likes you. Because if you like somebody and they don't like you, and you like them, all they're going to do is use you. Like I always say, when people like you, they do things for you. Why would you be bothered with somebody that don't want to be bothered with you? But but for them, listen, listen to how everything a pimp does back in the days, everything pimps did back in the days is what women do to men. That's all it is. The roles are reversed. Reverse. What do they do? They wear flashy clothes. See, what? let me say something first. Hollywood always made pimps look like clowns because out of jealousy. Because um, those are not movies made by black men. They made, they're movies made by white people. So they always made pimps look like clowns. They always put them on like big shoes and, you know, but that's how some people dress back then in them days. But they always make them look like pack clowns or they make them look like borderline homosexuals. And they did that out of jealousy because they couldn't figure out how they can convince a woman to sell her body and give the money to them. So out of jealousy, they always made pimps look like clowns and homosexuals and, and borderline gay and buffoons out of jealousy. That's what they did. That's what Hollywood always do anyway. They always make black people look like buffoons, clowns, uh, 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 big dick athletes and shit like that. That's what they do. That's because the whole purpose of television and the media is to indoctrinate you. Now, let's get back to what I was saying. The whole perp- The whole reason that pimps do what they do is because they're doing what women do to men. What they do, they wear flashy clothes. What do women wear? Revealing clothes. What do pimps look? They look really successful, like they're making tons of money. And that attracts women. Men are attracted to women by the things they do, by the, by, by the shape of their body, the way they walk, the way they talk, the way they smell. So that's what pimps do. They get dressed up to attract women. And like I said, when people like you, they do things for you. Now, and these women like these pimps. So these guys convince these women to go out there and sell their body. And give them the money. Shit. And, and look at it from a feasible perspective. Women fuck guys every day because they like them. And they don't get nothing for it. They just do it because they like them. And they want to come. They like the feeling. So, Pimp said, well, hell, if you're going to do it like that, you might as well charge for it. So, white men, like I said, will risk their life and go to the worst black ghettos of America for some black pussy. And they will come. And that's where the, the term honky come from, from what I understand. Don't, don't quote me on that, but honky come from when the white man will come through the ghetto and honk his horn at the, white, at the black women, hoping to get some nookie. Now, back to what I was saying. Pimps do everything women do. And, and, and what, it is, what it is, you know, like they're not, pimps are not in a rush to sleep with the woman. They figure like, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you some loving when you give me some money. And that's what women do. Women say, I'm going to give you some loving once you take me to dinner. Once you buy me, once you take me out, pick me up, open the door for me, pull out a chair for me, then I'll give you, I might, I might give you some looky. And that's the same thing pimps do. Pimps say, I might give, pimps let them know that they are not impressed or eager to have sex with her until she gives them some money. That's why they used to always say purse first, ass last. And that's where that comes from. First, first, and that's what women do. They say, I might give you some. I might give you some once I get to know you. But in the meantime, while you waiting to have sex with her, she's going back and having sex with her ex-boyfriend or the guy she's on bad terms with. She's going back to school him to make you think she's got discipline to wait. And a lot of times they don't have discipline to wait. They go back and screw their ex-boyfriend. And if they ain't screwing their ex-boyfriend, they pull out their pocket rocket or they, uh, or they rubber dick. That's what they do. That's the all game. It's all game, man. It's all game. All right? Take it easy.